Juan Ruiz. Yes, okay, so he's a former New York firefighter who was on the ground wow. at the World Trade Center on 9-11. Well, now, guys, he dedicates himself to giving back to his community. He's been educating kids. He's a real-life yes. Mr. Rogers, all about kindness. <laughs> nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. It How really are you? Is. Brother. New York City in the house. I'm in the building. Make some noise. <laughs> okay, but wait. How did you get the idea for the rapid fireman? You know, it was 1983 when I came on the job. Okay. And um, deaths among uh, children of color was very high. Mm -hmm. So I thought of a different way to be able to teach children about fire safety. So I thought rap would be perfect. And I went out and took out a pension loan, man. Wow. And really? bought a little Rolls Royce fire truck, bought a truck, got some puppets, and I toured every school up to date 35 years unfunded wow. with my own money. I started writing coloring books and story books and selling them, and that's how I've been funded my program. 9-11, you were there on the ground. How has it changed you? So many of my brothers and sisters passed away there in 9-11. And even after the two months that I was there, four or five times a week, some of the same people that were there with me every day on Ground Zero, they're not here anymore. So, you know, I ask everyone to pray for those who are still suffering, sick and suffering from 9-11 related uh, illnesses. Um, I was diagnosed with upper respiratory disease. I've had two operations. I have to have one more coming up next year. I'm tired. I'm very tired. But nothing stops me from going to the schools uh. and teaching kids about safety and having fun with it. Man. Yeah. You are, you are such a light. Yes. Uh, what is it like to see these kids respond to you and their, your videos and your, your presentation? Look, you at, come, look at that face. Yeah, you look at up us. I know you Light up. the scene, and they just lose their mind. Oh, man, it's great, man, just seeing the faces of happy children and knowing that I'm getting my message across yeah. of doing the right thing, saying no to drugs, you know, stop, drop, and roll, stay low and go, don't play with matches. Because my theater, children who are from three years old to about nine or ten years old, and we need that every day. Hey, look. I'm the urban uh, Mr. Roberts, all Smokey <laughs> the Bear. I know, that's right. Hey, wait a minute, Universal, where's my TV show? <laughs> Oprah, where you at? <laughs> She's going to see this. This could be good. And now you're a thespian. You're an actor. You're a director. An actor. An actor. I, I'm a director. You know, back in 1989, I went to Citywide Talent Search, so I studied at Lee Strasberg Theater. And the only way that I can fund my program was to put on plays. So I started putting out theater plays, and now we have Mandela, which uh, uh, was, was helped by David Dinkins. Uh, and it's been an incredible play. We've been selling out every night. We're at the National Black Theater. We're going to uh, uh, Theater Row on 46th Street That's in two weeks. That is huge. It's a great play. It's a big cast. It's a professional production. And we have in raves. Everybody loves it. Everybody's talking Mandela. There it is. Yeah. So now, w tell me about the choice, though, with Mandela. Are you going icons? Are you going uh, the figures in black history? Like, wh who's next? Yeah, what's next? Well, you know, part of the theater uh, programs that I do, I have a children's theater group called the East Harlem Repertory Youth Theater. Yeah. And we have actors also at East Harlem Repertory Theater. We do uh, Martin Luther King. We even did Con uh, Connie Chung. Okay. Uh, we do plays, all kind of plays. We do tribute to African American inventors. So Mandela is really a professional production. So something that in the evenings, and I tell you, we're going to go to Broadway with this. I know that's oh, right. We feel oh, we feel it. We're dressed yeah. up. Yep. We're, we're getting. Scott and I are going to be reviews. there. People are coming oh. to the show, <laughs> and they're saying, "This is incredible." I mean, I didn't know that you could do this. And I wrote this along with Yolanda Brooks, who's our executive producer. Okay. We got Robert Green. We got great actors, Jimmy Garrett. I'm know. just looking at your energy level. I'm just looking at how much you love what you're doing. And it is infectious. And here's why else it's going to happen. Good things happen to, to good, good people. people. And your kindness is going a long way. Thank you for all that you do. Come on, you're our so first much. Come on. in our Mr. Rogers series. Come on. Are we hugging it out? Yeah, we're hugging we it, hug it out. out. Thank you, John, for everything Thank that you do. Thank you so much. The Rapid Fire Man, everybody!